This is a video for the little uh, micro worm drive motor I obtained from eBay. Quite cheap, less than two US dollars uh, if you buy a quantity of five of them. Post free from China and took about three weeks to arrive. Uh, the combination is around about 28, 29 millimeters long. You could cut off this bracket on the right hand side, which I intend to do. That will make it 25 millimeters long by 12 millimeters high by 7 millimeters wide. So I'm planning to use this on a small mechanism drive for a model railway um, locomotive. Now, uh, you could also cut off the bracket at the bottom there and make just the whole area a bit smaller. I'm going to strip it down later and have a look and see what I can do. I have it connected to a DZ123 decoder. I've been running it for about uh, 15 minutes on a quarter throttle or so and came back and the motor was just sort of warm to touch and no more. So you can see it now running. It just brought the throttle up a little bit. So it got quite slow performance. And the throttle's on a low step. I'll see if I can slow that down. It's a bit jittery right at the bottom. That might be more the digi tracks than anything, I think. Because once I get it going, it's all right. Okay, and I'll just run the throttle up now. I'm around about quarter throttle. Um, now these motors are designed to be three to five volts. And uh, when I did do a DC test on it, I ran it up to about 12 volts, but it was screaming its poor little head off. <laughs> but it did seem to run quite happily, but very fast at around about nine volts. Okay, so, Let's just run up to half throttle. And you can see it's spinning around quite fast now and actually starting to vibrate around. I'll just bring that back again. I wouldn't go more than half throttle on it and you could set up the decoder obviously to uh, set the maximum speed or minimum speed or whatever you like. You can see the little screw turning, that's the other side of the output disc. So I'm quite impressed with it, it's a small little motor and it has enough power to actually drive a, a, a small locomotive or a rail car along the on the track and uh, narrow enough you could just probably do it in, in scale but uh, I'm working in uh, uh, on HO gauge